Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to demolish a building in 3ds Max. Alright so first of all um, I've got a model of a little house here. Um, I'll put a link in the description where you can actually find this model and download it for free if you want to use this. Um, so first of all what we need to do um, we need to make sure that the object that we're going to demolish is hollow like a real building. So an easy way to do this is to add a shell modifier. So I'm going to go to my modifiers and go down to shell and then basically set your outer amount to zero and just make your inner amount something like 0 0.0.1. Okay, and then you want to collapse um, all these uh, modifiers. So just right click here, go to collapse all and select yes. Right, so the next step is to fracture your model. Now you can either use something like Rayfire or there are also many free plugins available for 3ds Max. Um, I'll put some links in the description that you can check out um, and download some free plugins if you don't have Rayfire. But as I said for this tutorial, I'm going to use Rayfire. So I'm going to go down to Rayfire and then click Rayfire and open Rayfire Floater. And with the object or the building selected, I'm going to add it as a dynamic object go to fragments and for this one I'm going to select wood splinters and let's make this about 100 and then click on fragment okay so that's going to break your um, object into a hundred pieces now something that I want to do here I actually want to go ahead and add some more fractures to some of the windows and maybe the door and maybe these pillars as well and maybe the back door here as well so uh, let's remove all these objects uh, from the dynamic impact objects. So just click on clear and then let's select some of the windows like that and maybe this back door and also this little window, this side as well and maybe this front door, that small window there and let's add these pillars as well. Okay, so with them selected, click on add and then go to fragments and let's break them into let's say 20 parts that should be fine for this tutorial and click on fragment okay so once you've done that we've got all our pieces uh, fragmented so now we're going to start to add some dynamics to this all right so let's close array fire down so the first thing that i want to do uh, just to get that out of the way is to select your floor and set that as a uh, static rigid body and then right click on it and freeze selection. That's just going to make it easier that we don't accidentally uh, select the floor when we're actually working with uh, all these fragments. So now what you want to do is you want to select a piece of the house where you want to start uh, demolishing it. So I'm going to select the front piece, something like that. And let's select some more uh, pieces of the, of the roof maybe. So I'm just holding in control and clicking just to add some extra pieces here. If you want to undo a selection, just hold in Alt and then click on that to deselect something. All right, so with those um, fragments selected, I'm going to create a selection set. So let's call that to explode. And that's just going to save um, all these fragments into that selection set. Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to go to edit and then click on select invert and that's going to select all the other pieces um, of your object and let's give that a selection set as well so let's call that to not explode right so now you've got these two selection sets so to explode and also to not explode okay next thing we're going to create a bomb so go to your forces select p bomb and I'm going to create the P-bomb here right in front, here by the front door. So let's just position it somewhere around there. Okay, go to the properties of the bomb and let's set the start time to be um, at around 10 frames. Alright, so we're almost there. So what you want to do next is you're going to go to animation, mass effects, utilities, show mass effects tools and just dock this to the side. Right, and then you go to your selection sets and uh, select the to explode selection set and then add the dynamic rigid body modifier to those and do the same to your to not explode selection set. So also add 
a dynamic rigid body modifier to that. And then what you want to do is go back to your two explode. So these parts that will be affected by the bomb. And then on the third tab, you're on the Mass Effects tools. Um, you want to go down to forces and then add the bomb in there. So basically the bomb will only affect these pieces and not all the other pieces. Okay, another thing that you want to do is you want to start in sleep mode. And let's change this to concrete. I know this is um, actually supposed to be wood, but I find that concrete works quite well with this. So let's do the same with to not explode. So change that to start in sleep mode as well. And let's set the physical material to concrete. Okay, let's start the simulation and see what happens. Okay, so I think the bomb strength is a little bit too high. So let's select the bomb, go to its properties, and let's set the strength to something like 0.2 maybe. Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. Let's stop that, go back. And one last thing that you can do to make it a little bit more realistic is um, just select some of the um, pieces here at the back. Let's maybe select this whole kind of wall here. Maybe that, maybe some of the roof as well. And maybe some pieces on this side. And then set them as static. So they won't be affected at all. Um, okay, so let's try that again. So let's click simulate. Alright, so once you're happy with your simulation, let's reset that and let's go to the second tab and click on Bake All to just to save that animation. Alright, so let's change the frame rate. So go down to your time configuration. Uh, let's click on Custom. Let's make it 960 frames a second. Make sure your real time is not ticked. Click on OK. And if we play this back, you'll have a nice slow motion um, explosion. There you go. Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like it and click on the subscribe button if you want to see more tutorials. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Cheers. Bye.